so often people say, you got to believe, you got to stay positive. But what they don't talk about is the real challenges you face in staying negative. The real battle that we're in, all the negative thoughts that we have and how these negative thoughts affect us. And I work with a lot of professional athletes, college athletes. I've shared this with corporate people, salespeople, and also teenagers, because they are really struggling with a lot of negative thoughts. And my question is always, do your negative thoughts come from you? And people always say, yes, of course, they're in my head. Here's the next question. If you believe your negative thoughts come from you, who would ever choose to have a negative thought? Would you ever choose a negative thought? Would you ever choose a thought that says you don't have it today? The future is hopeless. We're, we're not going to overcome this marital problem. We're not going to overcome this challenge, this health, health diagnosis. My best days are behind me, not ahead of me. Would you ever choose thoughts like that? No. They're always coming in. No one has ever found a thought inside of a brain. I've asked neuroscientists. <laughs> they come from consciousness. They come from a spiritual place. It's like when you're dreaming and having a nightmare. Are you choosing those thoughts? No, they're just coming in. And here's the key. Those negative thoughts come in, and the whole goal is they will separate you. They will create doubt. They will create distortions or lies that will tell you things about yourself and your future that just aren't true. They will cause you to feel discouraged. We don't give up because it's hard. We give up because we get discouraged. And they will distract you on this journey of life and keep you distracted from what truly matters most. And then they will divide you and separate you. The root word for the Greek word of anxious means to separate and divide. So when we're anxious, we feel separate. We feel divided. Fear divides us. Negative thoughts divide us. They weaken us and they make us feel powerless. Does that make sense? So once you understand that, you can realize, okay, these negative thoughts have been affecting me. And I was talking to this 16-year-old young man who was suicidal in the ER two nights before. I said, let me talk to him. Let me talk to him. Please let me talk to him. He wouldn't talk to me. Finally, he agreed to talk to me. And I'm sitting there across from him and we're talking about this. And I said, do you have a lot of negative thoughts in your head? He said, oh, so many. I said, do they m bombard you? He said, all the time. It just makes me want to give up. Once I taught him this and he understood the negative thoughts were not coming from him, he stopped feeling guilt and shame. He stopped beating himself up. Right away, he saw it so clearly. Within a day, he was feeling so much better. His parents were like, what did you do? I said, I just shared the truth. And it was amazing. I did that with three other teenagers this summer. All 180 immediately reached out to one the other day. How you doing? Hi, state of mind, Mr. Gordon. I'm doing great. This is based on my new book called The One Truth, which comes out in June. And I am so passionate about this book because people need to understand the truth and the battle we're facing and how negative thoughts cause separation and division. Think about mental health. When we go from oneness to separateness, we go from positive to negative. People who deal with mental health challenges like I did in the past, dealing with depression and negativity and tons of worry and anxiety, man, it was wreaking havoc on me. When I was dealing with that, I was feeling divided. I was feeling separate. I wanted to give up during, during that journey. And I know what that's like. You know, I, I wasn't choosing those thoughts. I didn't know back then what was really happening, but I, I know now. And now it's like, okay, I can help people win this battle because they'll realize, oh, when I have mental health issues, I actually feel disconnected. I feel alone. I feel isolated. And so instead of retreating from others, I can move towards others. Instead of retreating away from life, I can start living with vision and purpose. I can win the battle of my mind.